So on that note, that brings us uh, to the end of uh, all of our talks. I hope everybody found them uh, interesting. I, I certainly have a lot of food for thought after those sessions and uh, some of the discussions that were had as well in the, the breakout sessions. Um, I've just noticed my camera seems to have me as this uh, really dark, sinister figure. So apologies, but this is a testament to the time of day it is now approaching in the UK. So um, overall, I think um, the event's been uh, quite successful. We've uh, had some stimulating discussions some stimulating questions from the audience as well. Um, many of these topics are very close to um, both myself, Joshua's uh, personal research interests, and I would say our just personal motivation in general for uh, our activities in life. So it's been great to be able to bring together such a, a well-rounded group of individuals to impart their wisdom onto us, and hopefully that stimulated further discussion, further topics that we can all engage in, and maybe has inspired you to to delve into some of these uh, topics in your own time as well. Um, I'll hand over to Joshua if you had any other closing comments uh, you'd like to say. No, I'd just like to thank everyone for coming and for, um, especially for some of your comments on the boards. I think that we can build together on some of the opportunities as a, as a group, as a whole. Thank you. Excellent, thank you, Joshua. So on that note, I'm gonna hand over to Alan, who's gonna have the final last word, and he's going to uh, let us know about the future events, um, I believe, for the for the network. So over to you, Alan. Right, well, thank you very much, Eki. I thought you were gonna get the last word in, a, you know, in, in accordance with the- I'm uh, so used the... to doing that, but I'll, I'll, I'll refrain for once. <laughs> Well, thank you. And, and you used used a, a word that I was I was certainly going to put in myself there uh, about, about inspiring. And I think from all the presentations today, it has been incredibly inspiring. Such a range of of activity uh, and, and coverage, and, and we're added to manufacturing and, and and design for additive manufacturing is making a huge impact. Uh, you know, a, a good call to action, I think, for those that aren't involved to get involved where they can. Uh, and to to really try to push things forward. Excellent. So so just a few acknowledgements, I think, to uh, really to show appreciation to yourself and and to Joshua for for acting as key research team leaders for this. This is the uh, the sixth formal key research theme that we've delivered on behalf of of the network, or that you've delivered for us on behalf of the network. Uh, and I think we've got a total of about eight or nine that we're aiming for in totality as we've we've. Uh, extended the network by by almost a year through to, to uh, July 2023. So thank you very much for that. It's been great working with you over the last few weeks to try and pull everything together and to see the range of, of speakers that you've managed to to convince. You know, it's, it's not easy, I think, coming in at 5 a.m. in North America to to give a talk to people in the UK and beyond. So again, thank you very much to all the speakers that have contributed today, particularly those that have had the early starts this morning. Uh, across North America. Uh, to Lewis and Pat for the, the organisation and, and the coordination of uh, this year's student poster competition, which we launched early this year. Uh, and, and obviously to all the entrants that, that submitted their posters uh, and their, their supporting videos and, and everything else that was assessed by our, uh, by our, our, our panel of reviewers. And again, congratulations to the three winners. They will get some, some cash at some point in the very near future for their efforts and, and a certificate, and we'll try to get a little bit of social media out of that for them and, and to promote the work that they're doing, and also how that, that you know, shows the great talent that's coming through in, uh, in our field. Uh, to the breakout room facilitators, I think I've caught them all, uh, and there was a theme there, they all had three letter names apart from Quan, but Joe, Faye, Ben and Quan, thank you for your, your contributions and, and the feedback uh, from those uh, facilitation for the, the, the Miro boards. Uh, and, and the breakout discussions that we're going on. Everybody else that's joined the workshop today as well and contributed particularly to, to the population of those Miro boards, all the discussion that's in the chat, and, and certainly we'll have to have a look through that as well and pull out some of the, the excellent nuggets of information that, that's in there and maybe try to, to collate that into some sort of resource document. And, and just the general wider discussions, I, I think I listened to most of the, the lunchtime conversation as I was trying to make myself a, a sandwich as well. So. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure we'll, we'll we'll put that out in the recordings for some of the some of the words that were, were in there, but uh, certainly some 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 really good context to the applications that the technology is being used. And for me, you know, big thanks to, to Nancy and Patrick. They they are the constant with me in, in everything that we aim to do with this network and to try and drive the agenda forward for for the FAM. And and obviously I've got to thank 
the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council for the, the funding that they, they've awarded to uh, to the network to be able to deliver these these workshops uh, over the course of what will then be three years. So, so a big thank you to them also. Uh, just thinking about some of the, the comments that were in, in the chat and somebody was saying, how do we find out about future events? Two, two key ways or, or, or uh, most prominent methods of, of uh, engaging with the network are through the LinkedIn page and directly with the, the website. So you could register and become a network member. So the, the QR codes are there or, or use the URL. But there's also a, a Twitter page as well. So you can find that at, at Design for AM uh, and you'll be able to follow some of the stuff that's there. And there's been a few comments today from attendees uh, about their, their experiences today. So please do that uh, and join the network. Uh, if you are keen and you want to, to engage and show off about the the types of activities that you you actually undertake and maybe look at that for collaboration or for, for further networking as well sign up to the directory we do have a, a uk design for am directory list what your skills are uh, what facilities you have and, and how you might want to engage with not just academia but industry policy makers etc that have signed up to that. that that image is a little bit out of date now uh, i think there are about 80 odd uh, registered members of that am am directory so please do it's a it's an easy process it'll take you five minutes paragraph fill in your details uh, and, and it's worth it just to, to try and uh, engage with the wider network itself. Uh, I shouldn't really, you know, as, as, a, as a committed travelling Scotland football fan, I can't acknowledge <laughs> that there is a World Cup finals coming up at the end of this year, but I'll do this anyway uh, and, and wish England all the best when they get there. But the first ball figure competition, that, that that's our next competition that we're supporting. Uh, please do if you're, you're interested design your own little foosball character. I think we need 22 in total that will be fitted to a foosball table and uh, there is, uh, we are going to manufacture them and send them out and we'll, we'll have that all put together. So it'll be interesting to see what, what does come in and what we end up with uh, after that competition closes. If you're interested, please do to go ahead. And I've had private messages from, from colleagues that I have overseas that are real football fans who want to do it as well. So uh, the opportunity to, to get into a UK competition is obviously of interest to them. Upcoming events, as Ike just said, uh, our next one is the Design for, for AM Metals or the MAT FEM that Rob Heim at, at the, uh, the Centre for Advanced Manufacturing at the University of Bolton is going to lead on. He gave us a run through of that earlier this afternoon uh, and the activity that's there. I know a number of the, in particular the industrial organisations that Rob's engaged with, so the line up there in terms of speakers and the applications is going to be fantastic as well. So watch out for that coming up on the uh, uh, on the D Design for AM website, uh, the, the link is there. And then Candice Majewski from uh, from University of Sheffield is is uh, in the process of, of discussing the uh, the running of a, a Design for Polymer AM processes some point in the first quarter of 2023, and then we'll move on to, to those from there. So like I said, do keep an eye on the, on the website. Everything is on there, the social media pages, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, uh, and, and uh, You'll be emailed directly as well if you've, you've signed up to be a member of the network. So please do keep an eye on those. Uh, again, some discussion that was there. Uh, you know, apologies if, if, I'm, if I'm teaching anyone to suck eggs. There is a, a wealth of funding uh, out there. The funding landscape itself is, is a bit fluid at the moment as we, we come out, particularly in the UK, come out of the European Union. So things like the structural funds and, and Ian Faulkner and his slides have mentioned uh, the support he's had from it, for example, from the, the European Regional Development Fund. There are uh, UK replacements coming in for that, uh, but it, it won't necessarily all be business support and maybe community support as well. So so those are a bit, a bit uncertain, but what is out there? Uh, and I, I dived into the uh, uh, to the Ukraine site earlier this afternoon just to have a look to see when I, when I saw Ian's comments. Three things that, that stood out straight away. Women in Innovation Awards, very, very prominent and, and uh, particular to today in terms of, of some of the stuff we, we talked around equality, uh, diversity and inclusion. Uh, and that competition is open just now. Innovate UK Smart Grants as well, aimed at businesses as the lead organisation for, for those funded projects. A, a little bit more difficult to engage with probably is the manufacturing research hubs for, for a sustainable future. Those initial expressions will have been submitted and uh, organisations or lead organisations for, for some of these hubs will have been contacted in terms of moving forward uh, beyond the outline stage to, to stage one. I think what I'm trying to, to, to say here or emphasise here is it may be useful to try and find out what those are. And, and these large hubs, these, these large project grants 
are looking for engagement. They're looking for impact in particular, and a lot of what we've talked about today has impact in there. So it may be a little job for us to, to talk to EPSRC as a, as a network to say what is coming through and how can we link in some of our industrial members within the network into some of these hubs, writing letters of support, for example, or, or, or finding the opportunities where they might be able to, to uh, partner into some of these hubs. If there are questions or, or anybody wants to explore funding, most of the academics that, that engage in the network have to do that as part of their role, secure grant funding. Uh, it, it's one of the necessary evils, I think, of, of a, uh, an academic career pathway. But get in touch with any, any one of us and I'm sure we can we can try and support, you know, protect the industry members with that type of thing. Other than that, I think just a, a thanks in, in general for, for those of you who have hung out to the very end of the gra graveyard shift. Thanks for attending. And I very much look forward to seeing you at a future event, uh, either online or in person, if we hold them uh, in person again. So thanks very much. And thank you, Ike and, and Joshua again for an excellent, excellent workshop. I promise I wouldn't have the last word, but it's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure, everybody. And I hope our paths cross again. All the very best. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you to everybody. Okay. And see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay.